One day, I was going to my friend's dacha. Regular working Friday. And by the evening, anticipating the taste of barbecue and beer, I was already rushing by car along the highway from the city towards the dacha. It was not far away, only 30 kilometers from the city, and I knew the road by heart that I could get there with my eyes closed. Nothing complicated, almost all the time in a straight line and only at the end of the way you need to turn in the direction of one village, and there you are at hand. It was raining with a thunderstorm that day, and the visibility of the road was poor, so I drove slower than usual, getting into an accident was not part of my plans today at all. Halfway down the road, I got stuck in traffic. Where could it have originated on the highway? After two hours of turtle movement, I saw the cause of the traffic jam. Road repairs. Well, as always. As I drive, there are always adventures, road repairs, accidents. Well, we'll have to go around. And how fortunate. Right in front of the barriers that the workers installed, there is an exit to a country road and a sign indicating that there is a detour through the village in that direction, hmm, the sign was so old that the name of the village is no longer readable. Well, maybe it's not so bad, well, I'll stay for a while longer, going around the repair work, and I'll fly with all sails to my friends. Driving off the road, I noticed that only I decided to go around, all the other cars immediately turned around and drove away towards the city. It's kind of weird. Maybe they know a shorter way? Well, anyway, I had already moved onto a dirt road and I was already reluctant to turn around. Of course, there were no lanterns on this road, and the road was kind of old and it was clear that cars rarely drove along it, but it was difficult to see it, since the road was very much washed out by the rain. I would not get stuck here in this quagmire of earth and clay. It was difficult to drive, especially on my, far from new, passenger car. And so, the roofs of houses appeared in the distance. It was after midnight, and the rain was only getting stronger, turning into fine hail. Super! That's just what I needed. It was almost impossible to continue the road in such weather and I decided to call my friends, say that I would arrive only in the morning, and I myself would try to spend the night in this village, hoping that someone would shelter me. I took the phone in my hand, of course. No signal. The 21st century is in the yard, and it's worth turning off the main road for a couple of kilometers outside the city and that's it, you get into the Middle Ages. Okay, I hope in a drunken frenzy my comrades will not look for me in the middle of the night but just fall asleep, and in the morning I will already let them down. I drove up to the first houses. Apparently, this village consisted literally of one road along which houses stood on the left and on the right. Speaking of houses, they obviously didn't look particularly residential. I didn't see what happened to the other houses there, but the first two gave me a little shock. To say that they were old is not enough, they were dilapidated, rotten, overgrown with impenetrable thickets of some bushes. There was no light in any of the windows. It didn't surprise me, after all, it's late, and people are already sleeping, although are there any people here at all? Suddenly lightning flashed, and I caught a glimpse of a silhouette on the road. He was tall, I would even say lanky, his arms seemed longer than an ordinary person, and this something was dressed in some rags. At the moment of enlightenment on the street, after lightning, it ran towards the house closest to me. All this happened in just moments. I thought, maybe because of poor visibility and fatigue, I dreamed that it was some kind of monster? Of course, it was a man who was fleeing from the hail and ran to his home. I explained to myself. Great, so there are people in this godforsaken place, and I will be able to arrange a bed with them. I didn't really want to get out of the car. The rain was so heavy that even if you were outside for 30 seconds, you would get soaked to the skin. But there's nowhere to go. Sleeping in the car is not an option at all. I drove as close as possible to the house where the man ran. I took a purse with me, money, suddenly the owners will ask for payment for the night, and, gathering strength, jumped out of the car. I ran towards the front door of the house under the porch. Got wet. 
it became instantly cold and chilly. Yeah, the weather in early October is just something. How is it some, the weather doesn't have bad weather? There is. The porch I found myself under was leaking, but in any case it's better than standing in the pouring rain. I knocked on the door. The owners? Is anyone home? Silence. I'm knocking again. Nothing happens. I tried to open it, no way. What to do? To run to another house means to get completely wet and very likely to get sick. No, I don't need that. Maybe we should go around the house and there will be another door? Hmm, we need to scout. With this plan, I moved along the wall of the house around the corner, glancing fleetingly out the window. For a second I thought I saw some movement there. Somehow, through the thicket of impenetrable bushes, I got to the back of the house. The door was really there, it opened onto the garden. Although I'm not sure if these standing crosses were a vegetable garden, so, wait, crosses? Why are there crosses here? The backyard of this house looked more like an old cemetery than a vegetable garden. Something's not right here. I didn't have time to think about what I saw, because the door opened behind me with a wild creak. Without thinking twice, I dived inside. The door closed. Hmm, a draft probably. The house smelled musty, damp and like burning. Well, at least now the rain is not a hindrance to me. I picked up the phone and turned on the flashlight on it, glimpsed that the phone had 15% charge left. I started to move the flashlight around the room. A table, a chair, a mug, plates, aha, I'm in the kitchen. Then I remembered that how would I break into the house without an invitation and I should at least let the owners know that I'm here. The owners? Will you accept a guest for the night? If anything, I can offer you money for help. In response, silence and only the sound of drops on the roof destroyed it. So, well, if there is no one here, then maybe I can spend the night unnoticed, and if the owners come, then I will explain everything to them in a kind way. So, there is a plan. We need to find at least a bed, not to sleep on the floor. I definitely won't find a bed in the kitchen, so I need to get inside the house. The floor creaked loudly under my footsteps. The atmosphere is SOSO. The night, the old house with its own cemetery in the backyard, the creaking floor, all the horror movies put together appeared in my head. A chill ran down my spine, 